Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the Craftsman 25 foot side winder tape measure. This is a new tape measure from Craftsman, which hasn't come out in a lot of red tape measures in a number of years. This one is exclusive to Ace Hardware as opposed to Sears, where you normally expect to find Craftsman products. You won't find this one in store at Sears. And what makes this interesting if you look at the package here is the tape actually comes out sideways, and this is why it's called a side winder tape. And so let's go ahead and take this out of the box and take a look at what you get with this tape measure. This has a one year warranty. This does not have the lifetime warranty that some Craftsman tools have. And when we look on the back, you can see that it touts a notepad on the back. I'm curious to see how that's going to come out. And so as we get the tape measure out of the clamshell packaging, not quite a clamshell. It's got a nice rubber grip on the sides. And then there's a tang on the back here that you can push down to be able to hold this up against something. So if you're trying to measure, say from the back of my workbench here, I can pull this tang out against it and have that nice tang there against the other side. So that's nice. Let's take a look at the blade that comes with this. The blade that comes with it is clearly marked uh, for 16 inches. And it continues the inch marking here, marked 20, 2 feet 24 inches. And it does not reset the inch marking. And the red numbers here correspond to your stud locations. Let's go and look at the beginning here of the tape. And you'll notice at the bottom, all of your fractions are very clearly listed there in 16 of an inch. So you get 1 through 15. If there's just a single digit there, that that's 1 16th, 5 16 9 16 so on and so forth. The other fractions are marked. Then you got a quarter, half, and three quarter in red. The end is adjustable here and has a slight wiggle. And that's actually supposed to be on purpose. Pushed in if you're taking an inside dimension, say up against a wall in a closet. Or pulled out if you're taking a measurement from the end of a piece of wood to account for the thickness of this uh, tang at the end of the tape measure. That's intentional. And so if you look at this, you can see the way the tape comes out sideways. And then it retracts back. You can hear a little bit of the mechanism there. Let's try that again. And so this has a nice grip around it, slightly larger than, say, a hockey puck. And I can grab this pretty nicely here on the back and around. There's a mark here that looks like uh, you'd remove that for being able to get to the tape to be able to make a change to the tape. There's no instructions provided for how to actually do that. It's also marked here at the bottom, patent info at craftsman.com slash patents. And on the other side here, it says plus three and a half inches. So if you're using the tang on the back side, you need to be able to add three and a half inches to account for the distance from here to the tang. So that's a nice number you'll keep in mind. Here's the writing surface here. Let's get a pencil. So here's a pencil. We're just going to write 24 and 3 eighths. And now let's see if we can erase it. Fortunately, that pencil didn't have an eraser on it. So it looks like you can use a pencil eraser on the surface to erase it. This does not have peelable pages. There are some of your fast cap tape measures have a peelable pad and some other ones I've seen that have that. Now just for comparison, I've got a different and an older 25 foot Craftsman tape measure here to be able to compare side by side. And so if we look at the overall size, the older one here fits nicely in the palm of my hand. One thing I also want to point out on this tape measure is when you're looking at the back of this here, there is the writing surface that we already showed uh, is works with erasing. Just for comparison to our standard one that has a belt clip on it, there is no belt clip on this uh, for use. So if you, if you need a belt clip, this is not going to be the tape measure for you. But if you've got a pouch in a toolbox or a tool belt, you might be able to use this. And let's go ahead and actually measure the height here. That comes out to about an inch and seven-eighths. 
uh, thick, maybe just slightly more, inch and 15 sixteenths, when you take into account the extra height of this uh, operating mechanism here. Now let's pull out another toy. Now let's weigh the tape measures. So I've got a kitchen scale that I've borrowed so kindly from my wife. And this is set in pounds. And so if we take the old standard 25 foot tape measure we get a reading of 0.912 pounds. And if we put the new one on, it comes in at 0.837 pounds. So it's actually slightly lighter than the more conventional touch lock 25 foot older Craftsman tape, which I think is impressive. I expected this one to actually weigh slightly more given its bulk. And some of this bulk is the process of the tape actually winding the corner and going from flat because it actually gets rotated uh, 90 degrees from this way to this way to come off the roll. And so it's got a normal spiral in here. Craftsman's got a great video that shows the inside of that in action. And so this is nice because one of the ideas behind this is that if you want to measure something, this is not going to roll over on you. Whereas if I measure something this way, it's easy to see how this would be less stable as that rocks back and forth, whereas this has virtually no rock on it. And my understanding is they're coming out with a newer 16-foot uh, one, so this should be slightly smaller with the smaller tape inside. Putting that one aside, let's take a little another look and pull out more of the tape. This is 25 feet. Let's go... Hundred and seventy six. There's twenty four feet. And there's twenty five in the end. One of the concerns that I had was making sure that twenty five feet was available in the tape and that last bit was not taken up by the back tang. So you actually can go 25 feet here to the front face. You could actually go 25 feet, three and a half inches to the rear tang of the tape measure. And so now having pulled out the tape all 25 feet, let me hit the retract button and see what happens. Looks like it required just a little bit of jiggling and finagling to get it to pull all 25 feet back, but it did successfully without having to use my other hand to get to it. Now let's pull out just a little bit there, and it comes right back. The button up here is definitely plastic. It looks like it's metal, but it's I'm pretty sure that that's just uh, silver-coated plastic. But overall, it's a very interesting tape measure, and I'm excited to add this to my collection of tape measures. I think this will be a nice one for doing measurements that involve markings on the floor of a room or otherwise. So I hope you found this video useful, and have a great day. Bye.